Hey, what's up everybody? I gotta be kinda quiet, but this is Russ with rwgresearch.com and uh, basically I'm working with this vortex tube separator. Kinda playing with it. It's working pretty good, but I think I gotta put another tube inside maybe to try to get the vortex to spin a little faster. Because um, right now the water comes off the top and kinda drops too fast. So it doesn't spin as well, but anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got here. Um, basically I've got the owl cell and um, I told you I was going to make this thing so I could pump water through it. So for those of you who haven't seen this, um, basically I can pump water through it now. It goes in between the bottom two plates. Uh, in the bottom. Let's see the bottom. There you go. In the bottom. And it goes around the outside of the bottom plate. And then there's a seal that I put on there. And it goes in there between the two tubes up to the bottom. I mean up to the top. And uh, the water is pretty dirty because I've been playing with the HHO. But um, this is basically what it looks like. Vortex tube separator. Um, it's going to be hard to see with water in it, but you can see the tubes that I cut at an angle. Alright, so the vortex is going this way. And the water is coming back up the same direction. Trying to get it to force it the same way from the bottom. Um, and to release the bubbles from down there, but the holes are too small. They don't really release the bubbles. But uh, right now this is not a closed loop system, and so... When I turn the gas production on, the water lowers and raises because this isn't closed off here. So uh, I gotta play with that. But uh, let me get my chair here set up. Let's see if I can stick my camera on it and uh, show you what's going on here. Should be able to do that. I know that's not really all that close, but hey, it's gonna have to work. So right now I'm just gonna turn the water on and. Uh, takes a minute for it to get going. Oh, and by the way, I'm live over there in the background. You can see that. So, I'll go ahead and get close here so you guys can see this. But, uh, bubbles are, are turning. And, um, soon you'll actually start to see the bubbles down here forming a vortex. And, uh, it does take a minute for it to get going because, like I said, the water comes in and kind of drops down at too much of an angle. So, I'm going to I gotta have to put a tube or something in there on the side and get it to stay to really get it vortexing. But it'll pop out here uh, in the meantime. We'll wait. But uh, yeah, there's a little one coming. And actually, if I if I pump this directly into this vortex chamber, there you can see it forming down all the way down here now. If I pump this water directly into the vortex chamber, this thing produces a great vortex. But when I run it through the cell, I think it's got a little bit of less pressure. And so, it doesn't really work for real. There you can see a bubble being sucked down to the bottom. You guys can see that. That was another one. Let's see if we can get a close up on one. There it goes. Down it goes. So, uh, yeah. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to produce some HHO here. You guys can see this thing fill up. So here we go. I'll get this turned on. And uh, let it rip. So again, I'm forcing. There's, a, there's the hydrogen, oxygen there. Now you can see a really cool looking vortex. Now like I said, it pushes the water down. So I'm actually going to go ahead and shut it off here. And uh, I've got this valve. I'm going to get that water back up there. Basically it releases water out of the top. There, we'll try that. And uh, now we'll just watch. And you'll see a vortex come out of there. It's pretty cool. It's not really working the way I thought it was going to work, but... Um, it definitely works. I think you guys can see that. Man, I can see that real good, but this camera doesn't really look like it's picking it up. Let me go ahead and get a close up of it so you guys can see it. Uh, you can see a vortex and all the way down to the bottom. And it just stops where that divider plate is. It's funny, I turned this vortex thing on 
and uh, seems as if uh, it started thundering and lightning outside. It's kind of crazy. Let's see what I'm gonna do. See if I can set this down. That's a good shot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on so you can see it again. There you go. Alright, go ahead and shut it off. Just kind of like want to want to let you guys see this. It's really wild. There you can see how far down the water dropped. That's how much gas this system just produced in that short amount of time. So it's a pretty good amount. You see how the water's falling there? It's not really falling down the way how we want it to. Really, it needs to be spinning faster around that tube, but the water only pumps so fast, so I can only do so, so much. Now you can see that vortex spinning up in there. Try to go down a little bit for you. There you go. But yeah, you see how the bubbles are collected in there? And, uh, it definitely pulls the bubbles to the center. Um, as you can see, it's actually pulling them down to the bottom there. It's really cool to see. But it's a great vortex tube, that's for sure. I'm going to bring these back up again. There we go. Get this valve over here. Get it out of your way. Alright, I'm going to do this one more time. get that air to HHO to come back up to the top for me and we'll disconnect this that thing's producing a lot of gas that's cool all right there we go now we'll just watch because it's cool everybody in the live Live show chat room over there, all hanging out, waiting for me to get done. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a bubbler that goes on the top side of this thing. See if I can pull one out of my head, basically. But yeah, um, that's the vortex bubbler, and uh, I'm sorry, not a bubbler, a separator. And yeah, may, you know, basically I built this thing because I got to build one of these to separate the hydrogen oxygen and the water and so I thought you know why not just put the ports in the correct spots and make it a vortex tube and uh, so that's exactly what I did um, so yeah I think it's pretty cool it's fun to watch I don't know if it's gonna actually work the way I think but you don't know until you try but yeah if you look down here to the bottom totally just nothing comes out of the top there or whatever well, I think I hit the camera deal but anyway uh, so yeah I'm going to let you guys go with that um, Russ with rwgresearch.com if I go over uh, like 10 minutes the video file is so big that it won't upload all at once so I have to keep it a little shorter or downgrade the video quality which is, you know I might start doing a little doesn't necessarily have to be 1080p. It could be like 720p and probably be okay. Most people don't watch it that high def anyway. Anyway, see you guys later. Have a good one. Um, this is Russ, rwgresearch.com. Thanks for all your support, guys. Oh, these caps right here came out of this big piece. And uh, literally just hacked them right out of here. This is some scrap. UHMW and uh, so yeah no money was spent still built the separator 
Cool beans. I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Later.